hola, 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 and welcome back to the kingdom. Today, guys, we have the one and only Ragdos that you guys should be playing. Oh, yes. It is a Ragdos that pretty much we're going to take care of everything that the opponent has. Not everything, but a lot of the stuff that they have. So what we have, guys, we have two serrated scorpion because whenever he dies it deals two damage to target opponent and you will gain life so that's our only gain life that we're going to receive but we're going to keep it just in case we need uh wall strider to make us cry or if we need to sacrifice anything else like with the rankle then we can sacrifice the guy or village rights so we got four village rights which is going to help us draw cards or claim the firstborn which is going to take Anything that the opponent has that's below mana 3 or less. And we're going to take it and sacrifice it. Then we have 4 Fireblade Chargers. Which he is a pretty cool goblin. 2 Heartless Act. 2 Skycliff Shades. 4 Rubber of the Reach. 2 Shadow Skull Smash Making. Which is going to be some removal that we have. Uh, 3 Wall Striders. 4 Bone Crusher Gigant. Which is more destruction. And we got 2 Rankles. Which Rankle is, man, this is one of my favorite black cards. Just because whenever he deals damage to a player, each player discards or loses a life and draw a card or sacrifice a creature. We're mostly going to be sacrificing creatures. That way the opponent gets rid of whatever they have in the battlefield. And we can sacrifice little things or we can sacrifice Skycliff because we can bring him back. Then we have two Akron Wards, which is going to take care of um, gain control of target creature the opponent controls and then we can sacrifice it again and then we have immersion predator which i've been trying to do so many decks with this card and this is one of the ones that actually working later on i'll show you guys another deck that i have with this guy but he is really really good uh whenever he gets tapped uh it's all target card from a graveyard, and you can put a counter plus one plus one on him or whenever you sacrifice a creature, he gains indestructible until the end of the turn. And tap it. So, pretty good. We can we can still uh, gain control of target creature from the opponent. And then we just sacrifice it with this guy. So, that is what we got, guys. We have a bunch of lands. I think it's 24 in this deck. Yeah, we got 22 plus this two is 24. Uh, for Faceless Haven. Because so much removal and Faceless Heaven has given me so many win cons at the end. So it helps us a lot. Uh, besides that, this deck is pretty, pretty good. I played it a lot on the play queue. It works a lot. So now we're going to jump it into the Mythic Ladder and see how it does. But thank you so much, guys, for joining the kingdom, all the new subscribers. And the subscribers from the very beginning, thank you so much, guys. This is what we do, decks that people do not play. And this is one of the... I don't see it playing so often. Uh, because everyone plays Kroxa and stuff like that. We don't have Kroxa. You can add Kroxa if you want to. But no Kroxa. So let's see what this is going to take us in the Mythic Ladder, guys. Shout out to What Would Jeffrey Do? Thank you for your support in the kingdom. I'm doing random shoutouts from my subscribers. To get chosen, make sure to leave a like and a comment in the video. Enjoy the rest of the video and let's have some fun. All right, guys, this is a, an okay hand. We can keep this. Uh, we can start off with the rubber. And then maybe we can just claim the first move, whatever the opponent has. And then we can just village right. So we are good what we have right now. We are good. I don't know why it's laggy. I have no idea why it's so laggy right now. All right, that's good. We can do this, and let's go ahead and attack with the rubber right now. Oh, behold the multiverse. That's really good for us. All right. The opponent does not drop anything else. So, go ahead and do black because we need some black stuff. Um, let's attack. Let's see if we draw something cool. Alright, so he does that. 
Okay. Still fine. So this guy is playing some... We'll see if he's playing some rogue stuff. Can I foretell this? I cannot foretell it. Ah. Okay. Well, it's still fine. We we dropped the woe. We dropped the woe. And we'll see what the opponent will do. So he sacrificed this guy, which is... So that means he's going to be playing something else in scape again. Right? Uh, we paid it 3 life, why not? We'll see if he counters this. Maybe he'll counter it. He has to counter it. Oh, he just quits. But opponent! Okay. 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 Um... We can still start like that as well. We just... We can just probably drop the castle. Not good, because we're playing against Mono Red, which is going to be really annoying. But... We can drop this for now. In next turn, we drop the snow. That way we have a something that we can use the Bone Crusher. If we have to. So we're going to have to. Right, so... Uh, what we can do is get this guy. Oh, well, what am I doing? I thought, since I saw it, I thought I had it in my... Wow, that was that was a nice... Well, a knife. That was very nice, because I thought I had it. For some reason, I thought I had it in my hand. Like, that was so nice. That was so nice. Uh, what we can do, we can just Bone Crusher. He is Robert the Rich. I don't think he's going to sacrifice the Ferber Champion. He won't. No, you won't. No, you won't, opponent. Wow. Look at you. Look at you, opponent. You actually sacrifice a creature. Okay, well... Our mistake is gonna get fixed now. He can play the Faceless Haven. Which is fine, but next turn we can destroy the Faceless Haven. So he's pretty much risking it for the next turn. Right, and now we can do this because we have our own. Ah, uh, we don't use it yet. Just not yet. Now we'll see what the opponent does. If he drops again. Okay. I guess he's just gonna lose the turn. Because he doesn't, he doesn't, it don't seem like he's got more stuff to to attack. Yeah, that's nothing. That we can deal with that. All right, claim the furnace burn. Let's not mess up again. So, let's bring a black. I need some black. Then we can play this guy for now just to get some protection in next turn. We wait for Heartless Act. Because I really want to destroy his faceless Haven. Even if he does Frostbite. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I don't think he was going to do Frostbite right there. But like this. If he puts. Okay. If he attacks with both, that means he has another Rain Rover. Oh, he's not attacking. Okay. 
Do we save the faceless? I think we'll save the... We'll save that. Alright, we can do a lot of stuff. And do this. I really don't want to use my own... I mean, we can do so much damage. I can probably do that. That will be 6 damage. 2. Let's do it. Let's just put more pressure into the opponent. Right? We, we draw 2 cards. Okay. We keep the Heartless Act. He's gonna have to defend. Okay. He does not. So next turn, you guys already know what we're doing. We're doing Faceless Haven and we just attack with everything. If he does, even if he attacks with everything, we'll see what he does. Even if he has... What's the name of that? The... The Amber Cliff. It's not gonna help him. And even if he uses this against us... Okay. Yeah, you see guys, that's, that's what happens. Whenever you put pressure onto the opponent... They don't know what they're doing. Next turn we just attack with everything and we just attack with the Faceless Haven. That's it. What the fuck? Doesn't matter what he does now. We win. We win. We win. So let's go ahead and do it like this. Let's just let's just let's just finish it, guys. Let's just finish it. Eight straight to the face. An opponent. Boom. Alright guys, this hand is still good because we can start off with the Shadow Skull. That way next turn we can use rubber. Oh, and that's good. Sounds like this guy is playing mono mono white. Right? They think we're playing mono white because because this man, this leaf is so nice. Look at that. Look at that guys. That's like the oh man. Okay, opponent. You get set up. I don't blame you. Um, let's see. If we do rubber, we drop one, two, three, four, five, six. I still got too much. All right. So let's do it like this. Start with the little guys. That way the opponent don't even know what we're doing. Okay. All right. We attack with everything. That's 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 some damage right there. That's four damage. Even if he has um, Skycliff Apparition. Oh lures. Okay. Claim the first burn would have been so much better here. But we just we get rid of this guy for now. And now we draw a card from you. Oh, how, ni how nice is that? I'll I'll take Basri next turn. I'll take Basri next turn. I'm taking Basri. I'm I'm telling you guys, if you wanna play, if you wanna rank up fast. This is the only Ragdos you should be playing. The only Ragdos you should be playing. My sand will protect you. Uh, next turn, what we can do, we can just... That's not gonna save you. I'm sorry, opponent, but that is not gonna save you. I tell you that. So, this is what we can do, right? 
We put one more on this guy. We got four cards. So what we can do is we can attack straight face. That way we draw something with the rover the reach. Alsa is good. He's gonna block the rover. He has to block the rover. Why would you do that? You're gonna lose. You're losing life anyway. There we go. There we go, opponent. But you still lose because you do this guy. And then we sacrifice the scorpion. And that's it. Guys, stop playing any other decks. Just play this. Three in a row. Alright guys, this is this is good to keep. Uh yes. So we can start off with the castle. Is he playing Gruel? Seems like he's playing Gruel. So let's start with the castle, because we don't have any any black creature to start off. So we're good with that. Then we can make this red. Um, let's drop rover. All right, so he does not have a removal on the red, right? Sounds like it's just mono red with uh, gruel sleeves. Rava of the Reach. Uh, okay, opponent. Okay, opponent. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, four, five. Um. Okay. Let's take this guy. We attack with both. We take oh man, that's that's nice. Right? And then we just destroy his creature. We drop two cards in do we want to take his? Let's take his. Uh, Fireblade doesn't really matter right now. We have another robber. Which is good. Guys, I'm telling you, this deck is nice. This deck is mighty nice. And we have another one. Okay. Alright, game. Do we need black? We, just, we can just do another red. So, we can play something like this. <laughs> we just play another one. Oh man. He needs to kill one of them. Oh, that's a nice trigger there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We just took everything from him. That's it. That's it, guys. All right, this is not good game. Like we were doing so good and then you, you have to give us this. I don't want to risk it. So yeah, much better. Uh, we can drop one of the lands away. And we can start off with the fire blade. Mono white. Mono white. Hello there. Hello there. Guys, this deck is so nice against, I guess, these things. Against these little things. I'm gonna wait, can't hold it. Like, they just can't. This is the kind of Ragdos decks that I like to play. Just because you get so much control, you know? And since the, the meta right now is so much aggro, that's what happens. So, you come over here. We attack. And you already know what's what's gonna happen, opponent. So he he goes. So he's playing black. That means he's playing lures, maybe, and the other clerics, like the 
Arch, uh, Archfiend, Vizel, and all the stuff. Okay. Hardly Zack. Okay, we'll, we'll take that. That's not... That's not a problem. Should have waited for something like this opponent. Oh. Yes. He's got four lands. It's fine. Uh, we can bring the Skyclave next turn. And keep this in hand as well. If he drops a little creature. Like that. Even if he kills... Even if he kills the the robber. So let's drop this guy for now. And we keep the Bone Crusher in our hands. To destroy his speaker. Now we get something. Oh, he is playing clerics. The clerics tribal. All right. So we're going to play the Bone Crusher at the end of his um, turn. So something like this, I would like to destroy now. Why would you play Rankle? Why would you even play Rankle right now? That... That right there, opponent, it's weird. You know what I mean? That is very weird. So we need another red. We just need a bunch of reds. So. I don't think he's going to sacrifice his own rankle. Exactly. Exactly. Aura. Okay. Attack. Attack. Uh, do we get the... Uh... I really want to make him four, so... Let's sacrifice... Him, and we just remove that. Right? Right. Uh, let's see. Let's attack with him. He can't bring these guys now. Like, they're, they're just... They're useless now. He either has to... Take the wrinkle. Alright, opponent. All right, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Next turn, you're dead. Like, we can easily get rid of Wrinkle. If he attacks with Wrinkle, we block. Like I said, if he attacks, we block. So... Um, there's nothing he can bring. So we do that, right? Let's see if he does something weird. Whatever he does. Alright, so he won't be able to protect this guy. That was my main concern. Destroying destroying him. So how many cars we got? Let's let's drop let's drop whoa. Let's drop whoa. Um um yeah, Rankle. He probably has some something to bring from the graveyard. And it's not gonna happen, opponent. This is it. We just give you another heart. Guys. 
that is four games in a row five if we would have won the other game i i it's disgusting i, I don't want to show you guys that day nope all right guys we are back to the wrap up this deck is so much fun like I'm, I'm telling you guys literally fun to play like it's just nice taking control of the opponent's creatures and then just sacrifice them and we have four games in a row that was nice that was one game that i, I didn't want to show you guys because it was against stable trickery we lost that one but i just can't like it it drops my mood it drops everything like i just want to i just want to uninstall the game every time i see that card it's just disgusting so i hope it goes away soon but besides that, guys, this deck is amazing. Immerse, Immersion Predator. Man, this thing is good. I want to show you guys the deck that I have with this card because it's just, it's nice. So this is one of these decks that's already done. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Go to Mythic. It will help you all the way to Mythic. Like, like it will help you. If you don't have the Faceless Haven, you can just do two. Or if you don't have him at all, you can just add lands. I mean, he is a really good win con, but still so i hope you guys like the video make sure you guys leave a like and a comment tell me how is it going for you guys into the mythic ladder how hard it is is it easy you need some help let us know down in the comments we have a discord channel that we chat a lot about how to get to mythic because so many people wants to come up here and we'll give you the solution besides that thank you so much guys for all the love the support that you put in the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video bye Generals of the Kingdom, Albert Franks, thank you so much for your support and having fun with us in the Kingdom.